So, if like me you decide to uh, pursue uh, playing the washboard with uh, thimbles, uh, finger picks, and brushes, there are a few variations to uh, consider when picking out those utensils. On the subject of thimbles, there are uh, definitely uh, some things to consider when picking them out. The uh, one on the left is the one I like to use. The uh, one on the right, I uh, originally got from Joanne Fabrics when I first started pursuing uh, playing with thimbles. And uh, the uh, Joanne thimble is basically uh, covered with a bunch of uh, thin edges around the sides. I imagine for sewing purposes it's good for protecting your th finger, but uh, on the subject of rubbing a washboard, uh, rubbing that thin edges around the uh, washboard makes more of a scratchy sound than a rubby sound. And it actually becomes, you know, very annoying. I like to uh, use the uh, one on the left because uh, it has dents instead of uh, thin sides and it makes a much more uh, better rubbing sound. So, as you can see, finger picks come in many shapes, sizes, and materials. So there are a lot of variations to consider when picking which utensils you want to work with. One of the important characteristics of finger picks is the uh, thinness of the material. Uh, I encourage people to find yourself a, a good thin metal pick for making some good swiping sounds. However, uh, most uh, thin metal picks have little holes in them. When it comes to picking a string instrument, that's uh, no big deal, but uh, when you're stroking your whole finger against a washboard, it's good to find yourself a pick that covers pretty much your whole finger. Uh, as I was going through the internet, it, it was uh, very difficult to find a pick that did not have holes in it. Um, I uh, did find one, and I will share the uh, link on the uh, comments. But uh, I like the uh, pick on the left. It uh, also has uh, sort of a uh, curve on the edge to uh, put in front of your finger so that your finger isn't blocking the whole finger, and it really makes some good tapping and swiping sounds. It is also good to find yourself a good thick metal pick. This allows a uh, more uh, deeper sound to uh, add to your variation. I'm a fan of the ACRI brand picks. Uh, they provide a lot of good protection for your finger and it uh, makes some good tapping uh, and swiping sounds. Since uh, you have so much cover for your finger, uh, it's good to uh, tap with the uh, base and sw like swipe with the tip. Between the uh, materials, uh, they do make brass and steel picks, but based on the thickness, it actually, the variation doesn't seem to matter that much. When it comes to uh, plastic picks, uh, overall thicker is better. Since it's a uh, more bendable material, uh, you need the uh, pick pretty thick to make a good tapping sound. Uh, the uh, pick on the left is a little thicker than the right, even though it's a little hard to tell, and my experience is uh, thicker is better. Um, but however, one of the uh, problems with uh, thick picks is that uh, it's difficult to uh, get it to adjust to your finger. I've had to resort to uh, adding uh, warm waters to make the uh, pick more bendable. If anyone has some good tips on bending plastic picks, uh, leave them in the comments below. When it comes to uh, brushes, there are basically uh, two standards that you can buy in just about any uh, percussive store. The one on the top is a uh, travel brush. Uh, it has a uh, hook that allows you to pull the brushes into the handle to uh, help protect them. Well, the uh, one on the bottom doesn't uh, pull into the handle, it has a, uh, another material on the end of the handle which is generally used for uh, tapping the rim of a snare drum. I uh, encourage getting a uh, travel brush. It's uh, good to uh, protect the uh, brushes and keep them flat, but also the, uh, the uh, yellow end uh, overall does not on the uh, bottom brush does not provide a uh, good sound for stroking the washboard, while the uh, hook uh, does. It's uh, good for if you want to, like, say, uh, use brush with one hand and the hook on the other, and it provides a good variety of sound. So I encourage using a travel brush.